What's up everybody? Welcome back to a new video. In this one, we're gonna study my good friend Marcelo Fausto. Marcelo is a teammate of mine. Uh, he trains out of the House FC in Brazil, just like I do. And he's mainly known for his foot locks uh, and his leg attacks. But in this video, we're actually gonna study his guillotine chokes. And this is also an important concept. Whenever you get good at lower body attacks, it's always very nice to combine it with upper body attacks, like the guillotine. So Fausto was competing at a local tournament in Brazil. And he hit two beautiful guillotines. We're gonna look at two of them. Arm in variation here, catches it, squeezes it, and gets a beautiful finish. And the other one is quite quick, so uh, pay attention. Other guy shoots for a double leg, Fausto rolls him over, immediately putting a lot of pressure on the neck and getting the tap. So let's look at both of them a little bit in more detail. So the first one, let's look at the entry of the first fight. Marcelo uses an important concept here. He gets his head above his opponent's head. And from there he commences a scramble and catches the arm in. So whenever you attack a guillotine, it's very important you get your head above your opponent's head. If you can't do that, there's no guillotine. So Fausto does this by doing a so-called hip heist. Like a technical stand-up, but he posts his knee on the ground. From there he catches the opponent's neck and he shoves it into his left armpit. Marcelo likes to do guillotines with his left hand. In this case, his opponent hugs the leg, he's get, he, he gets an underhook, and Marcelo uses that to set up an arm in guillotine. He walks around into a front headlock situation, already cupping the chin and having control, and from there, he's gonna look for the finish. So one more time, he gets up, head above the opponent's head, starts to scramble, and gets his grip. So how does he finish that, uh, that guillotine choke? He goes for arm in guillotine, cupping the jaw, and look how he crunches himself in. His chin is almost touching his opponent's back. He locks his guard, and he gets the finish. A little bit more slow-mo this time. As you can see, he passes the guard, and he goes for the arm in guillotine. From here, he goes to a bottom knee on belly position. Uh, th at least that's how I like to call it. His foot gets stuck. Look how his right leg is all the way over his opponent's hip, controlling him and blocking any rolling out. His opponent tries to posture out, Faust is staying tight the whole time, he's curling himself up like a ball. At the same time he's bending his opponent's neck, twisting the spine, giving his opponent a structurally very weak position. He stays tight, very important if you don't stay tight. Close to your opponent's back with your chin, he's gonna pop out. From here he closes his guard, avoiding any escape options, and he gets the tap. One more time in real speed. Arming guillotine. Catches his grips, works toward that close guard, and a quick finish. Beautiful. So now we're going to look at the second guillotine. This one is a little bit faster. Opponent shoots, Marcelo catches the guillotine, and finishes. So when your opponent shoots for a takedown, his head is going to be lower than yours. That's what you need for most takedowns. And that's also what you need to set up a guillotine. So Marcelo makes good use of that by catching it immediately off the, sh uh, the shot of his opponent. Rolls the opponent over. One more time, opponent goes for a single. Marcelo catches it with his left arm, jumps in. Opponent falls back, try to roll out, but Marcelo stays tight with his chin again, and he follows with the leg. Now let's look at how he finished that. Opponent shoots in, Marcelo goes, and he gets a tap this time again with his left hand but no arm in. Falls down, rolls with the opponent, keeping his chin tight, and from here, it's all about bending that neck and putting a lot of pressure on it. Look how he stays on his side, look how much bend is in the neck, and he checks with the right foot. The right foot is checking his opponent's hip, so there's no way to roll out. When he rolls, Marcelo just follows with that right foot. Look how, it, how the right foot is almost like an antenna, feeling where the opponent is going. And before the opponent can put up any real defenses, he's already tapping, because uh, this is um, something Marcelo does really well. He has a very, very hard squeeze. He, it's really hard to escape any submission holds with him. He can put a lot of power into his squeeze. All right, so what can we learn from this? Uh, first of all, Marcelo has a very dangerous guillotine, um, and he has a very good squeeze on it. Second of all, whenever you attack a guillotine for the setup, it's important that you go with your head above theirs, or you get their head below yours. 
uh, in the first case, Marcelo moved his head above his opponent. And in the second case, his opponent shot for a, double, uh, for a single leg and Marcelo used that to get the guillotine choke. That's the setup. Now for finishing and control, the most important thing you can uh, learn from this is how Marcelo uses his chin on the back of his opponent. Um, that way the opponent can slip out his head and Marcelo, Marcelo stays tight the whole time. So he's curling himself up, moving his chin to his opponent's back. Those are the main concepts and takeaways um, I got from this video. I also asked Marcelo what his main details are for having such a strong guillotine joke. And he gave me two answers. He said the first thing is always controlling the top of your opponent's head, putting pressure on it. And the second thing is having a strong grip around your opponent's chin. And uh, unfortunately those things are a little bit harder to see in a video like this where it's a little bit far further away and it's uh, competition footage. But I explained those details thoroughly in my instructional and I'm going to put a link in the description below. Uh, thanks a lot for Fausto for giving us such cool fights to study and for giving your insights on the guillotine as well. Uh, make sure to follow him, uh, follow him on Instagram, I'll leave a link in the description as well. If you like this video, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you guys very soon.